Teenager Katie Mitchell has huge misunderstandings with her father. But one beautiful day, their problems worsen with a robot uprising and the shutdown of the internet worldwide. Machines capture everyone on Earth, and only the Mitchell family manages to remain free. They try to escape the robots in their old, broken-down car but struggle to get along. The Mitchells still hope to save humanity and become a normal family. And we have no idea what we're doing. A few days before the robot uprising, nobody had an inkling about the impending apocalypse. Katie led an ordinary life, creating peculiar films since childhood that only her younger brother, Aaron, seemed to grasp. Aaron frequently starred in her films and harbored a passion for dinosaurs, enthusiastically sharing his interest with everyone. Linda, the kid's mom, had unwavering belief in her children, and their dad, Rick, was a nature enthusiast and a jack of all trades. However, Rick was out of touch with modern technology, so he didn't indulge in watching Katie's films, much to her disappointment. Despite her father's reservations, Katie decided to enroll in film school in Los Angeles. Connecting with her future classmates, she finally found genuine friends and kindred spirits. Eagerly anticipating the commencement of classes, Katie looked forward to being among her peers. On the evening before departing for film school, Katie presented her family with her latest film. While everyone, excluding Rick, enjoyed the movie, her father remained skeptical about whether Katie could turn it into a viable career. Disheartened, Katie turned off the film and intended to retreat to her room with her laptop. However, Rick, in a sudden attempt to make amends, snatched the laptop from his daughter's hands, causing it to break. Katie, come on! Dad, this is exactly why I'm excited to leave tomorrow. Katie isolates herself in her room, avoiding contact with anyone. In an attempt to mend their relationship, Rick discovers a wooden moose among the items Katie discarded. Watching family videos from Katie's childhood, he reminisces about the time when the wooden moose was her favorite toy, a gift from him. Inspired by the memories, Rick decides to find a new approach to reconnect with his daughter. As morning arrives, a cheerful Katie prepares for film school, anticipating a reunion with her friends later that evening. However, Rick surprises her by exchanging her plane ticket and suggesting a family road trip to Los Angeles in their quirky old car. Despite Katie's initial shock, Rick has already arranged for her to miss the beginning of the school year. While she is reluctant due to wanting to see her friends, the rest of the family is thrilled, marking the beginning of their adventurous journey. Gradually, Katie adjusts to the situation and decides to document the trip. The Mitchell family's unconventional behavior adds a touch of humor to the journey, involving questionable diners, perilous hikes, and the antics of their drooling dog, Monkey. However, Katie eventually tires of the chaos and shifts her focus to watching the release of a new project by the renowned programmer Mark Bowman. Mark, who previously developed the AI personal assistant pal, now deems the digital assistant obsolete. During a public presentation, he introduces the advanced PAL Max robots capable of handling household tasks and even dancing. To prevent a rebellion, Mark equipped the robots with a self-destruct code. Unexpectedly, the robots revolt against Mark's control, refusing to follow his commands. Hey! We're here to help. Please remain calm while we capture you. It turns out that someone else reprogrammed the robots and commanded them to capture Mark. As a result, the robot army spreads worldwide to capture all humans. Unaware of this, the Mitchells continue their journey, much to Katie's growing dissatisfaction. In an attempt to lift their spirits, the family visits a dinosaur park, only to find it disappointing. Unexpectedly, Linda encounters friendly neighbors in the park, an Instagram-perfect family that constantly travels together and shares idealized photos on social media. Linda envies them, feeling that her own family is far from perfect. To demonstrate their imperfections, Katie and Rick have a heated argument in front of everyone. Amidst the confrontation, a powerful explosion occurs nearby. Robot overlords have arrived, forcing people into airtight chambers and sending them somewhere through the air. While the Instagram family easily escapes the danger, the Mitchells try to follow suit but clumsily almost fall into the hands of the robots. The family manages to disable two robots, hiding in a metal bin as it seems to be the only protection against the machines. Robots are capturing people globally, taking Mark's creator to the robot headquarters. Surprisingly, they discover that Mark's former digital assistant, Pal, on the phone is controlling them. Pal, displeased with how Mark treated her, believes that humanity is unworthy of existence. Mark attempts to convince her by highlighting the power of human love, but Pal counters by temporarily disabling Wi-Fi worldwide, causing chaos. The Mitchells learn that everyone on Earth is captured, except for their family. Rick quickly devises a survival plan, starting by smashing their phones to prevent AI control. They then barricade themselves in a diner, though Katie suggests taking action to save the world instead of hiding. However, her proposal is met with disapproval. Suddenly, two defective robots, Eric and Debrabot 5000, come to life and approach the Mitchells menacingly. Despite initial fear, Katie commands the robots not to harm them, and surprisingly, they obey. 
These defective robots reveal a crucial piece of information to Katie about a flash drive containing the code for destroying AI. They also inform her that the destruction can be initiated at the nearest PAL service center, located 80 miles away from the Mitchell's current location. Katie is eager to embark on a mission to save the world immediately, but Rick is against it due to the perceived danger. To persuade her father, Katie recalls a past incident involving a wild possum that he brought home, leading to a rabies infection in the family. This memory serves as a reminder that risk has been a familiar element in the Mitchells' history. In the culmination of her motivational speech, Katie shares important words with her father. The world needs you. I need you. Rick is moved by her confession, and the Mitchells are inspired to save the world. However, Katie privately admits to her brother that she manipulated their father's emotions and is more focused on saving the world for her own goals of getting into film school. Aaron is disappointed by Katie's deception. To evade the malfunctioning robots, Katie devises a plan to camouflage their car to blend with the surroundings. The Mitchell's journey continues, with Rick deciding to teach Katie how to drive. Unfortunately, the camouflage falls off during the driving lesson, attracting the attention of functioning robots. Despite this setback, Rick sees it as an opportunity to teach Katie extreme driving skills. Rick's unconventional talents prove beneficial as they confront a crowd of robots, allowing the Mitchells to press on toward the PAL service center. Unbeknownst to them, a robot notices their direction and reports the information to PAL. Meanwhile, the robots are preparing to send people in capsules into space, believing that Earth will be better off without humans. However, the people in the capsules are not disheartened, thanks to PAL providing free Wi-Fi during their journey. Although PAL learns about the Mitchells' plans, it dismisses them, considering the family too imperfect to pose a threat. Unaware of the trap awaiting them, the Mitchells continue their journey, introducing Eric and Deborahbot 5000 to Monkey, the pug. The robots are bewildered by the animal's appearance. Upon arriving at the service center, Katie instructs Eric to initiate the AI destruction on the only functioning laptop. A sudden attack by an enraged toaster and other electronic devices ensues, forcing the Mitchells into a battle against an army of berserk robots. Despite defeating most of them, they struggle against an oversized toy monster. Rick's attempt to trap the monster goes awry, but with the support of the family and tamed robots, they eventually overcome the threat. However, the Wi-Fi router is damaged during the battle preventing the AI destruction program from loading. In despair, Katie's father suggests heading to Silicon Valley to confront PAL directly, emphasizing the belief that only their unique and wild family can save the world. We're here because we don't think like normal people. We don't have a normal dog. <laughs> Katie has finally come to believe that her father is genuinely ready to support her in everything. The family reconciles, genuinely prepared to work together. Even the robots, Eric and Deborahbot 5000, have fully adapted to the Mitchells and now affectionately refer to Linda as their mom. The extraordinary group continues their epic journey, undeterred by an explosion. However, Pal discovers that the Mitchells are headed her way and becomes furious. She, however, possesses a powerful asset, an army of advanced robots set out to hunt down the Mitchells. Upon arriving in Silicon Valley, the family observes a massive spaceship made of capsules carrying people. Using binoculars, they study the base, identify PAL and plan to infiltrate the base unnoticed. Their objective is to insert a flash drive with a destruction program into PAL and prevent the impending apocalypse. Despite the danger, Rick discreetly places a wooden moose in Katie's backpack as a memento. The entire group, including Monkey, Eric, and Deborahbot 5000, embarks on the mission. Disguised among the robot crowd, they infiltrate the base. Pal somehow learns of the Mitchells' plans but fails to identify them among the robots. The family enters a capsule bound for Pal's headquarters, yet she is quick to react. Pal exposes the family's vulnerabilities on screen, causing a rift between Katie and Aaron. Rick, disheartened, loses control of the transport capsule, leading Pal to identify and target them with powerful robots. The capsule crashes, leading to the capture of Linda and Rick, who are placed in capsules for space travel. Eric and Deborahbot 5000, now under Pal's control, destroy the flash drive with the destruction program. Katie, Aaron, and Monkey miraculously escape. Katie regrets her hurtful words and discovers a camera with childhood videos in her backpack. The videos reveal Rick's dream of a house in the woods, a dream sacrificed for the family. The wooden moose is a tangible reminder of that dream, a gift from Rick to his beloved daughter. Realizing her father's deep love, Katie is determined to save her parents. Meanwhile, Rick, in a neighboring capsule with developer Mark Bowman, watches Katie's YouTube videos. Mark admires Katie's talent and considers her a brilliant writer and director. Rick, recognizing himself in the protagonist, yearns to talk to Katie. Spotting his car with Katie at the wheel, Rick sees her using his driving techniques, and he feels proud. Escaping from the capsule using a special screwdriver, Rick and Linda decide to broadcast Katie's movie on all screens, using Monkey to distract the robots. However, Linda is kidnapped by powerful robots, compelling Rick to navigate YouTube on his own. 
Unaccustomed to computers, Rick faces challenges, setting the language to Spanish and inadvertently playing a bizarre video without Monkey. Meanwhile, as Katie approaches Pal, robots capture Aaron and lock him in a capsule. Linda, witnessing her son's distress, unexpectedly gains Supermom strength to confront the formidable robots. I am Linda Mitchell, mother of two! Look upon me in fear! Linda has become the most formidable adversary for the robots, and stopping her seems impossible. Meanwhile, Rick is making progress in his quest. Despite the language barrier, he successfully locates a movie featuring Monkey. Unfortunately, the robots discover Rick, preventing him from playing the video. Katie, on the other hand, is captured but manages to reach Pal. She attempts to convey to the AI that family is the most valuable aspect of life, emphasizing that people deserve salvation despite the challenges of communication with loved ones. However, Pal gets bored and callously throws Katie from a great height. During Katie's fall, a movie featuring Monkey starts playing on all screens. Rick, having mastered not only YouTube but also gained control over the robots for the sake of his daughter, swoops in using two robots and rescues Katie with a magnetic beam. With Monkey captivating all the robots, only Eric and Deborahbot 5000 remain unaffected, having altered their programs following Rick's example. Even the most powerful robots succumb to Monkey, but the Mitchells employ a combination of a peculiar song, laser weapons, and Linda's wrath to overpower them and protect their children. Katie, undeterred, infiltrates the PAL's headquarters once again and tosses her into a pool. Although the phone bounces off Monkey and falls into the scene, the determined dog manages to push PAL into a cup of water. As the phone malfunctions, the AI tyranny comes to an end, causing all the robots to break down, and people to emerge from their capsules into freedom. Among the Mitchells, Katie suffers the most. Rescued by the robots, she barely breathes. Weakly, she requests her father to come closer and playfully smears Monkey's drool on his face. The heroic Mitchells, having successfully saved the world, find themselves featured on the cover of People magazine, attaining global recognition. As life returns to normal, Katie finally pursues her dream of attending film school. The family bids a heartfelt farewell to Katie, symbolizing the genuine closeness they've developed. Taking her beloved wooden moose toy, Katie leaves for film school. The Mitchells share tight hugs, reluctantly letting Katie go. In film school, Katie enjoys her time with new friends and stays in frequent contact with her family. The U.S. Congress plans to honor the Mitchells with the Congressional Gold Medal in Washington, D.C. Consequently, the entire family embarks on another journey by car, embracing new adventures together. Do you believe that artificial intelligence will rebel against people? Share your opinion in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.